Midodrine HCL is used for patients who experience low blood pressure when standing, also known as orthostatic hypotension. It is used when daily activities are significantly impacted by this condition, even after trying other treatments like support stockings. Midodrine works as a sympathomimetic, alpha receptor agonist, to raise blood pressure by acting on the blood vessels. The recommended daily dosage is typically 10 mg three times a day, with the last dose taken early enough to avoid sleeping with high blood pressure. Always follow the advice of your healthcare provider regarding the best time to take this medication. When taking Midodrine HCL, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Usually, it's taken three times a day, with at least three to four hours between doses. This medication should be taken during the daytime, when you're standing most often. Avoid taking it after your evening meal or less than four hours before bedtime. It's also not recommended to take your dose if you plan on lying down for a long time afterward, like if you're going to take a nap. The dosage will be determined by your doctor based on your medical condition and response to treatment. They will likely start you on a low dose and then gradually increase it to minimize side effects. It's important not to increase your dose or take it more often than prescribed. To get the most benefit from Midodrine HCL, take it at the same times each day. Using it regularly as prescribed will help improve your symptoms. If your condition persists or worsens, be sure to inform your doctor. This medication should only be continued in those whose symptoms improve during treatment. Some common side effects of Midodrine HCL include skin tingling, chills, stomach pain, and urinary problems. Less common side effects may include dry mouth, dizziness, drowsiness, trouble sleeping, or leg cramps. If any of these side effects persist or worsen, it's important to consult your doctor. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor believes that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience serious side effects. Midodrine can increase your blood pressure, especially when you are lying down. If you experience symptoms of supine hypertension such as a pounding heartbeat, headache, or blurred vision, it's crucial to stop taking midodrine and seek medical attention immediately. Additionally, it's important to contact your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects such as slow heartbeat, fainting, confusion, weakness, or vision problems. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help immediately if you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed above. If you experience any side effects, it's important to contact your doctor for medical advice. Midodrine HCL is a medication that should only be used in carefully selected patients. It causes a significant increase in blood pressure when you are lying on your back. It's important to monitor your blood pressure carefully during treatment. Midodrine HCL can be used to treat a condition called orthostatic hypotension, which is a type of low blood pressure that occurs when you stand up from sitting or lying down. It helps to raise blood pressure and reduce symptoms such as dizziness, lightheadedness, and fainting. The typical starting dose of Midodrine HCL is 2.5 mg three times a day. The last dose should be taken at least 4 hours before bedtime to prevent supine hypertension. Your doctor may adjust the dosage based on your response to the medication. It's best to take Midodrine HCL at least 1 hour before standing up or engaging in activities that could lead to an episode of low blood pressure. Be sure to follow your doctor's instructions on timing and dosage for the best results. Before taking Midodrine, it's important to let your doctor know if you have any allergies or if you are allergic to it. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other issues, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. Before using Midodrine, make sure to inform your doctor about your medical history, including any conditions such as high blood pressure, pheochromocytoma, overactive thyroid, difficulty urinating, heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, or diabetes. When taking Midodrine, be sure to get up slowly to reduce dizziness when rising from a sitting or lying position. This medication may rarely cause dizziness, drowsiness, or blurred vision. It's important to be cautious when consuming alcohol or marijuana as it can increase these side effects. 
Avoid driving, using machinery, or any activities that require alertness or clear vision until you can do so safely. Limit alcoholic beverages and speak to your doctor if you are using marijuana. Before undergoing any surgical procedures, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it's important to discuss this with your doctor. It's not recommended to become pregnant while using mitodrine as it may harm an unborn baby. If you do become pregnant, speak to your doctor right away about the risks and benefits of this medication. It's unknown if mitodrine passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. Always seek medical advice before making any decisions regarding your medication while pregnant or breastfeeding. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking mitodrine HCL. This medication may change how other medications work, which could increase your risk for serious side effects. Be sure to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this list with your doctor and pharmacist. It's important not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Additionally, some products may contain ingredients that could raise your blood pressure. Be sure to inform your pharmacist about all the products you are using, and ask how to use them safely. This is especially important for cough and cold products, diet aids, or NSAIDs such as ibuprofen or naproxen. Be cautious and always seek advice from healthcare professionals when using multiple medications. If you or someone you know has taken too much mitodrine HCL and is experiencing severe symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911. Otherwise, you can contact your local poison control center for assistance. In the US, you can call 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include goose bumps, difficulty urinating, and feeling cold. It's important to not share this medication with others. Make sure to routinely check your blood pressure while lying, sitting, and standing, and share the results with your doctor. You can also consider sleeping with the head of the bed lifted up to lessen high blood pressure while lying down. While taking this medication, it's crucial to undergo lab and or medical tests, such as kidney-slash-liver function tests. Make sure to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take your next dose at the usual time. Don't take double the dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to store mitodrine HCL at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom, and always keep it out of reach of children and pets. When it's expired or no longer needed, make sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on the best way to do this. Remember not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.